now available on Instagram. What years is the Renaissance? 1600s. Let's read about the topic and then ask questions because right now we don't know facts. I can tell you though what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Christopher and John Rogers for Target dress. I am like Jane Austen times. But I still look olden days and that's what matters. Oh my god, there's a guy with devil horns. This is thematically on point, right? It's yeah, a it's a dragon. And success stone, which seems to be working. TikTok, love it or hate it, at least you're saying stuff. Follow us on TikTok and subscribe to this because we're out here at the Renaissance. So come on, we're doing God's work. Father, son, and the house of Gucci. Here's my hat that is really necessary today. It's 103 degrees. This dress is very light and like silky. I'm sorry I'm not dressed up for the That's Renaissance great. Fair. I love my accessories. Yeah. You think he's hot, David? Oh, yeah, so okay. Okay. Oh, da. Yes, yes. Da, da. <laughs> yes. Uh, Loeme. Yes. And the lady. Uh... Wow, look at the garlands. Well, I'm not this... doing that. I'm not doing that. It seems scary. Justin because this is reminds me of what he was saying about the, his experience at the airport. This is like between simulations. <laughs> That's hard to balance. It's cute. It's like a little. This is so cool. Oh my god, this one is so cute. Wow, the cheese wow. fries. They look really good. What's this one? Oh my god, too funny. Do you have this in a men's swell? It looks like Loewe. That's like Celine or something. That's Comme des Garçons right there. This is a purchase that is a purchase that you just buy when you're here and then you never wear it again. Shrek and Fiona are actually here. Yeah, they're here. <laughs> I really like personally the message behind the Shrek and Fiona films that of acceptance of acceptance. yourself yeah. for who you are and others for who you are. Yes. It's giving eccentric bitch. It kind of needs an earring. I do have that. Oh, that's a lot of blush. It'll blend in. What is it? It is milk, makeup, work, 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 work it. New little Marnie bag, little trunk bag. Is this a mini? That's mini? a mini trunk, yeah. Love it. Is it radiating heat, this building? Yeah. Touch Feel the it. building. I don't want to touch it. Touch it. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, cool. look at my ring. That's a new thing I've heard yeah. from young people from LA. What? The ring. A stack. Oh, look yes. what's so you're building your stack. I am. Too bad they don't make here. them big for mine. You one. will find bigger ones, Mom. Yes. Don't worry. Yes. We'll... Yes. Look at her go. Oh, oh, she's going. She's going. Oh, oh. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay. Okay, well then we'll do it. Okay, can you turn that off? I just want to get the glasses getting filled up and poured up and everything beautiful. Yes. Cheers. What are you rating this meal? Seven. That's, That's my C. official. That's salmon. a C. Right. That's my, my only thing was they don't have cocktails. They only have wines and beers. Ding tea. Man, I was like, you missed what Soma did. I just killed a couple of bugs. What? <laughs> I mean, the lady like a, couldn't do it. They were like, they're like the smallest little bugs. Oh, you saved people. What did you get? Uh, I got a honey green milk tea. How much sugar? Fifty percent. There's different levels you can get. I'm at thirty percent sugar. That is next level. Here we go. Oh my god, look at we all line up like we we're all line up like Marutrushka dolls or whatever. <laughs> I mean it's going uphill. Yeah, we're at Cruel World Fest. Festival fairies. <laughs> That's what we are. Oh my god. 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 Oh my White claws. Sponsor us. What were you thinking when you put this together? I wanted to be comfortable, but I wanted to be a little like stocky throwback moment. And I feel like I'm achieving it with my scarf. Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Breeze. Pants. Orange shoes. Here he comes. Oh. I'm like way too cheerful for this like god music. I know.
bitch. Hello. I was cleaning all day. Let me open the curtains up. Ooh, sun. I thought, let me show you a few new things that I just got. Okay, let's start with what I got from Uniqlo Marnie. We can start with these PJs. These were from the men's selections. That whole collaboration, I got everything in extra large. I just wanted it to fit loose and cool and oversized. I have worn them already though, but I wore them with the Crocs. So it works with the Crocs, but I'm gonna hem them because I don't wanna have to only wear them with the Crocs. The whole PJ set is made of this fabulous cotton. It feels really like Marnie. It has this essence of Marnie, which I love. Let me put you down to show you the set from this perspective. Very cute. The other things that I got from the Marnie collab, I got one pair of, well, it's two pairs of socks, but one bundle of socks. I thought these were so cute and I wanted so many more, but two is all I could get because one per person. Along with the pink colorway, I also got this cute dress that I love. And the biggest size I can get in this is a large, but it's really big. I thought it would be so cute to style it with the pant. And then I also got the matching shirt. Honestly, I probably wouldn't wear this dress by itself like this. It's a little too on the cutie pie. I'm a little more crazy than this. I do think this is gonna be way more me with the pant. Can you see it? Okay, let me actually pick you guys up. I already think it looks way cooler and way more me with the pant. I love the matchy matchiness of this whole thing. I mean, of course, in the summertime, I don't need all these layers, but. So here's the full look with the shirt on. I think this is so freaking chic and cool. I love it. And I'll definitely wear the shirt with the pant and I'll wear the dress with the pant without the shirt. I'll also wear them all as separates. I'll mix and match them and do all kinds of fun stuff. This look and the blue look is what I basically got from the Marnie Uniqlo collab. Cute. Okay, a couple last things. I got a package from Essence. I'm returning a few things from it. What I'm keeping is are these fabulous Kalina Strata cargo pants in this fabulous lavender. Look at all these pockets. Look at all this. They're just so fabulous. They remind me of like rave days and definitely keeping these. Love them. Got them on sale, of course, from Essence. Love, love, love. Two things that I'm returning. I got another pair of Kalina Strata pants and these have these cute animals on it. I don't know if you can see that. The description on Essence said that these were cotton. And when these came in, I was disappointed. They're rayon, they're 100% rayon. They kind of feel cheap and see-through and I'm not loving them. Hey, not everything is always a hit. This is a Chopo Valoina top I got. This is a large. It doesn't look that small, I guess, when I'm looking at it on camera, but it is so small. It is so tight on me. I feel like the Incredible Hulk. And maybe that's the look, but on me, it just looks like I'm wearing a two-year-old shirt. 96 Poly for Elastane because the stretch. It's actually not a cheap t-shirt even though it's on sale, so I definitely expected a little more. Honestly, it's just a sublimated polyester shirt. I mean, I love the concept. I love the idea, especially with the Chopo Wallowina skirts. I mean, I love the concept. I love the idea. That's a cool look. That's a fabulous look. But get with it. These t-shirts need to be a nicer quality if people are gonna pay this price. So this is going back. One last thing. I got these other cargos from Jaded London. They were like 80 bucks. They're just this powdery blue, baby blue color. They're fine. They're cute. I think I'm gonna return them though because they're giving me very similar vibes to the Kalina Strada. And I love these. Then these are kind of like just the sadder version of these. So I'm gonna return these and keep these. Oh, you guys, one more thing. My TikTok is popping off. One of my videos has half a million views. Do you know how huge that is for me? I've been doing this for two years and I've never had anything take off or anything. I've never had anything. I feel seen and validated on TikTok, which is crazy. I never thought I would say that. I do feel at times that maybe there isn't an audience for me on YouTube. Maybe people don't like the same things I like, or they just don't like me or something. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I've been doing this consistently for two years and my growth is so minuscule, so minimal. On TikTok, I've been doing it for two weeks and I have like double the audience so far. So I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. I'll take a win, of course. So find me on TikTok, Jasmina TV on TikTok. Subscribe to this mess that is this whatever this is follow me on instagram too and i will see you next time bye mm -hmm.